What's going on everybody, it's Adam, and today there was a huge leak of information about Titanfall, uh, and specifically to the guns, the game modes, the equipment, uh, and even some of the maps, supposedly, it, that are going to be released with the game. So a quick bit of information about this, uh, this is mostly coming from a NeoGAF forum post that was made by a user named Amarox, and also assisted by another user named RazorUK, which I'll link in the description down below, and, and it's, it's information that they found digging through the beta game files on PC. So I'm going to talk about the guns that are listed, uh, some of the nades and ordinances, and the perks as well. Um, so let's get into the guns next, because really, I mean, that's what everybody cares about. So I'm going to talk about the gun, I'm going to show the gun and the image that was found in these files, uh, just so you can see what I'm looking at. I believe these are real guns, they fit the same kind of design style that Titanfall has put out, and it would take a lot of work for somebody to just fake a bunch of guns like this, so I believe these are real. Uh, so you have the regular primary weapons first. The R101C is the carbine or assault rifle that's currently available in the game. Next, there's the Hemlock BFR, which is a burst fire assault rifle, and I think that's a really good option. What, what they're saying you can count on for that is a little bit more damage and range uh, on that gun. Then there's the G24. It's a semi-automatic uh, battle rifle is what it's described as. Uh, and it's an older, kind of more precise, higher damage weapon. So that's pretty interesting as well. The EV-8 shotgun is the shotgun that's currently in the beta, which everybody's already saying is a pain, but good weapon for holding down flags and, and positions. Then there's the R97 Compact SMG, which is the SMG that's in the beta. It's interesting. It's I'm not a big fan of it. I don't think it does enough damage, but uh, definitely good for close quarters. Uh, next, you have the CAR SMG, or the Combat Advanced Round Submachine Gun. Uh, it's the only other SMG that looks like it's going to be in the game, and it's built to have greater power. Uh, so look for that to be probably the SMG people will use. Uh, next, we all know about the, the goddamn smart pistol, <laughs> but that's going to be in the game, obviously. Uh, the Longbow DMR, which is the semi-auto sniper rifle that's in the game currently. Uh, next, you have the Kraber AP sniper rifle, which you can get the burn card for right now. Uh, and what that looks to be is the one-shot, one-kill sniper rifle. So it's not going to be semi-auto. It's going to be bolt action, which I think is needed. I, that's going to be good. And then finally, for the primary weapons, the Spitfire LMG, which we all know is currently a burn card as well. Um, pretty interesting. It has a lot of recoil to start with, but it's going to be something that drops down the recoil as you keep firing. Uh, so I really like that mechanic. I think that's awesome. Next is going to be the sidearms. That's going to be our next topic here. We already know about the RE45 auto pistol. It's the full auto machine pistol. And the Hammond P2011. Uh, it's the semi-automatic gun that fires like a, a 5.7, for instance. Next, they're saying, though, the B3 Wingman uh, is going to be a revolver handgun uh, that's going to be in the game. So higher damage... Uh, much, much more uh, like an MP Rex or like any of the revolver style handguns that have been in Call of Duty. So that seems pretty interesting to me. So after that, the next logical move in your class is your anti-Titan weapon. We already know about the Sidewinder, the rapid fire kind of machine rocket launcher. Uh, we also know about the Archer Heavy Rocket Launcher, which is the anti-Titan uh, anti weapon that's a lock-on rocket. Um, there's also the Mag Launcher, which has a burn card available. This fires magnetic grenades. Uh, that's what the mag stands for, magnetic grenade. Uh, and it fires them to automatically hit the Titan at a certain distance. So not across the map or anything, but in close range. Uh, much like I'd say the Auto Pistol does. And then also the Charge Rifle, which sounds awesome. Probably some sort of uh, like laser or directed energy weapon if you want to be a nerd about it, uh, but a weapon that you charge up to get the most damage from. And that sounds really cool. So next up is the Titan weapons, and these sound really interesting to me. So we know about the XO-16 chain gun. Uh, that's pretty much the base weapon everyone uses. The 40 millimeter cannon, which is more of like the accurate but explosive cannon weapon, and the quad rocket, which are all there right now. So next is the Arc Cannon, which sounds really amazing. This is honestly the weapon that I want on my Titan. So it says it's immensely powerful, and you're firing a lightning bolt at a low rate of fire. It can be fired quickly, uh, like a semi-auto, or it can be charged for high power. When firing the Arc Cannon uh, at a cluster of enemies, plasma arcs will erupt from the main point. 
uh, of contact and connecting to close by enemies and electrocuting the group. So one of the be benefits of the arc grenade, in, in my opinion, is the depletion of shields. Imagine if you shot this at a couple of titans, how much that would make them weak and one of your buddies comes in or you come in and you just start annihilating them with it. I feel like that's going to be a really good team, team weapon to have. Uh, next is the Triple Threat, uh, which is a grenade launcher that shoots three grenades at once. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the one that you use against Titans. I feel like this is more of an anti-personnel weapon. Think about firing it in a building and clearing out a room. That's going to be a really good option for it. Uh, and then finally, the Plasma Railgun. Uh, and that's a railgun firing uh, a plasma pulse with high accuracy out at long range. So think about kind of like a sniper shot, but a, a single kind of plasma bolt, uh, and that can be charged up through threat several stages until it reaches full power. So this sounds really interesting. I don't know how well it's going to be executed. I would assume good, just because the game's been incredible so far. Um, but it sounds like a it's going to be more of a, a sniper rifleish weapon for your titan. And then finally with the weapons is the ordnance. So you have the satchel, which is like a C4, which we've seen in the trailers. Uh, the arc grenade, which is the lightning grenade and a frag grenade. And then finally, the arc mine. This sounds almost too overpowered for me. I almost don't know if I believe it's in the game. But according to the description, it's a proximity detonated charge that sticks to any surface. Uh, and so in addition to explosive damage, it's going to cause massive interference to Titans and pilot vision system when it detonates. That sounds crazy. I don't know how useful this is going to be. Hopefully there's going to be a really good system to detect these, like a light or something like that. Um, but that almost seems way too powerful for me. So I don't know how I feel about it yet. I guess we'll have to see how it all plays out. So finally, to wrap all this up, there's been a lot of information also leaked about the pilot perks, the Tier 1, Tier 2 things. So I'm going to go over these really quickly. Some of these sound really good. Some of them sound too good. So we'll see what happens. Uh, fast autoloader, that's the one we know that reloads Titan ordnance much faster. So you can use your salvo rockets or things like that. Um, you also have the auto eject, which we already know about. Just pushes you up and cloaks you as soon as you get out of the Titan. Uh, one is called Dead Man's Trigger. Uh, it's trigger auto detonates all of your planted explosives when you're killed. Not sure how I feel about that, but the chances that you're going to get somebody are probably much lower than like Dead Man's Hand in Call of Duty. The Ice Pick is a modified data knife with that increases speed, which you can hack uh, specters and turret control panels. So that's awesome. Uh, the Power Cell accelerates you recharging your pilot's tactical ability that's already out. The Guardian Chip is an upgraded targeting system that lets you, your Auto Titan engage enemies with much greater accuracy. I personally like that, but again, we'll have to see how it plays out. This one is probably my favorite one so far, the Run and Gun Kit. This allows you to fire small arms such as pistols and SMGs while running. I love that. That sounds great. And then you have the explosives pack, which increases your ordnance ammo capacity as a pilot. Quick reload, which accelerates reload speeds of all your pilot weapons. The stealth kit uh, makes your footsteps silent and makes your jump kit exhaust nearly invisible. So that's really cool. Uh, the enhanced parkour kit, which is already out. The warp fall transmitter, which accelerates your titan fall substantially. Uh, the dome shield battery is out and the minion detector is out. Uh, Tactical Reactor is a kit that makes your Titan's uh, ability to recharge faster. Uh, so I think that's really cool, but again, could be kind of overpowered. Uh, the Regen Booster, your Titan is able to regenerate body shield at a faster rate than normal. I believe that's already out as well. The Dash Quick Charger, your Titan's dash system recharges at a faster rate, allowing you to dash more frequently. Uh, that's going to be really awesome to use with the Strider Titan, which has three dash bars so think of how much faster you're going to be able to move with that that's really cool uh, the nuclear ejection after you eject your titan briefly charges and then detonates a nuclear core that's already out there big punch your titan's melee attack power significantly increased and you're going to inflict greater damage than normal and that's pretty cool and it also knocks back enemies a little bit further uh, the core extender allows your titan core ability to remain active for an extended period of time I uh, think of that how that's affected with like the damage core things like that that's really awesome core accelerator makes your titan's core ability charge more quickly so you can use those core abilities more effectively and then finally survivor which lowers the rate at which your life depletes when you're doomed um, so that's it guys. I'm going to leave everything there. That's a lot of information. Uh, if you stay till the end, I appreciate it. You're a champ. 
Um, feel free to leave me any comments with any uh, questions or anything like that you have. If you disagree with my assessment of something, if you think something's going to be OP, put it in the comments below. Uh, and I've linked the source for this in the, in the description as well. So that's it, guys. I'm going to end the video here. Once again, I'm Adam, and you guys take it easy.